Okay, let's simplify this expression right here. So we have 3 to the w, and this is, of course, in parentheses to the fourth power over z to the negative 2 times parentheses w uh, to the negative 2 power times z and parentheses uh, to the negative 2 power. Now, at first glance, a lot of you might be saying, oh my goodness, this looks to be very intimidating. This is a lot of you know complex math. Actually, this is kind of pretty basic algebra stuff. If you're taking any sort of algebra course, you're gonna have to be able to do problems like this and much more challenging problems. So um, if that really concerns you, well, you definitely wanna stick around for what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. But I'm telling you right now, uh, you, uh, this doesn't have to be that uh, overwhelming okay you're gonna see here in a second and by the way too there's not one way to get to the right answer so I'm gonna do uh, this problem in what is probably gonna be one of the most direct paths but if you want to try this problem on your own and you take a different path as long as you get to the right answer that's what counts okay so if you uh, want to do this you can actually type in your answer into the comment section the best you can I know you can't type in powers and symbols and variables too well in the comment section but do the best you can and of course we can compare answers here in just one second but first let me quickly introduce myself my name is John I'm the founder of TC Math Academy I'm also a middle and high school math teacher I've been teaching math for decades and I'm telling you right now, you can learn this stuff, okay? You absolutely can uh, master algebra or any math uh, course that you're, uh, you're in right now. What you need, okay, outside of the uh, kind of the desire to want to do well is great math instruction. That's clear, understandable, and most importantly, comprehensive, okay? Uh, more than just like a quick little tutorial. You need great full instruction. That's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, Check out my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video, but you're going to see uh, the quality of my full instruction. I break things down so all students can learn this stuff, okay? And I do tons and tons of problems, much more than I do on YouTube. Okay, um, also, if you're preparing for some sort of test or have to take some sort of test with the math section, there's a ton of them out there, things like the GED, SAT, ACT. Uh, maybe the GRE, GMAT, as we have teacher certification exam, you get the idea. I have a lot of test prep courses that you can check out. If you homeschool, I have award-winning middle and high school mathematics uh, courses for homeschoolers. Very proud of this. Uh, so check that out. Uh, if you need a pair of great math notes, hopefully you're taking notes now. If you're not, you need to improve this as this is one of the top ways to uh, learn mathematics, taking great math notes, but I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video that you can um, uh, uh, check out. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as this helps me out big time. Okay, so let's get into this problem, all right? So we can't do this problem unless we understand uh, what we call the power and exponent rules, okay? And these, uh, in your algebra course, you should have some sort of chapter or section where it's this right here actually typically is like a full chapter or unit in an algebra course all right there you know uh, it's quite a bit you have to learn in this particular chapter and it's extremely important because algebra you're dealing with powers and exponents all day long so let's just quickly look here right here this is a base that's going to this power we have negative exponents uh, we got all kinds of stuff going on so we have to have rules uh, in order to figure this out, okay? So these type of problems um, are problems that have to deal with powers and exponents. So let's cover the rules real fast that you're gonna need to know. And uh, actually, I kind of left the rules blank just to give you a little pop quiz here. So here are the rules that you need to know, all right? So can you fill in what is the other half of the rule? So let's take a look at this right here. This would be like the product rules of powers and exponents, okay? So a to the m times a to the n, what is the, what is the result of this, okay? I'm multiplying powers with the same base, something like two cubed times two to the fifth, okay? What is that equal to? Hopefully you're saying, oh, that's equal to two to the three plus five or eight. That is correct. Then the rule is a to the m times a to the n is equal to a to the m plus n. Okay, that's a formal rule of algebra. That's a pro, uh, the product rule of powers. And this is an example of that. So again, a lot to know here, right? So let's go ahead and just finish this up real quick. 
And if you want to know more about this, I would highly suggest my Algebra 1 course. You can find that at my Math Help program. Okay, so let's talk about the division uh, rule here. So if, if I'm dividing, and by the way, these two rules, the bases are the same. Okay, this is why, this is a quick little video on this one problem, but this is actually a full chapter, full unit. You need to really, you know, dig in deep here because these, there's a lot of problems in algebra here. So I'm kind of going over this pretty quickly. So hopefully, um, you know, you're not confused, but if you are, follow up and okay, get beyond this video. All right, so a to the m, okay, divided by a to the n is going to be equal to a to the m minus n. Here, we're going to be subtracting exponents. It's always the numerator uh, first, okay? I'm going to subtract away the denominator exponent, all right? So, for example, 2 to the fifth divided by 2 to the third. Again, bases are the same. If this was 2 to the fifth divided by 3, to the cubed, I couldn't do this problem because the two and the three are, are, are different, different bases. But here, the bases are the same. So this is two to the five minus three or two squared. That's an illustration of that rule. Okay, so let's go over here, a to the n to the m. Okay, this is equal to a to the n times m, uh, m. So that would be an example of like two cubed to the fifth would be equal to two to the 15th. Okay, that's 5 times 3, or 15. So this is another rule you need to know. a to the negative n, okay, that's equal to 1 over a to the nth power. This rule here gives a lot of students confusion. So if you're like, yeah, I know these rules, but this one right here really confuses me, that's not typical. I'm sorry, that is typical. <laughs> so uh, you're not alone, but you can learn this stuff, right? You just need great math instruction again. And here's our last rule, a to the 0 power. Anything to the 0 power is equal to what? Hopefully, you answered one, okay? Anything to the zero power is one. Okay, so these are the rules that you need to use uh, to answer these uh, questions, these type of power and uh, exponent questions, things like this. Again, huge part of algebra. You absolutely need to understand these rules in order to pass algebra. And now let's go ahead and get into our problem, okay? Now, there are different paths you can take to do this problem. I could do this problem in a good way, in a, um, uh, you know, a correct way, in a, a pretty, you know, like efficient way, and I could do it in by taking different steps, okay? I guess that's the best way I was trying to say this. So if, you know, you if you did this problem, if you want to try this problem using those rules I just showed you, and you took steps that are different than what I'm going to show you right here, and you get to the right answer, that's perfectly correct. Now, what you want to do, okay, is to completely uh, simplify this thing until you are, until you basically can't take any more steps, okay? And you don't want to leave uh, any of your answers with a negative exponent. In other words, if you your final answer was m to the negative 2, you would not be done. You would have to go 1 over w to the 2 power, okay? So if you left your answer here, typically teachers are like, no, you're not done. Uh, get rid of that negative exponent. So go until you can't go any further. That's what it means to simplify. Okay, so let's go ahead and get going here. And I'm going to start right over here. And we're going to take this 3 to the W, and we're going to uh, take that to the fourth power. So this is going to be an example of A to the M to the N. That's equal to A to the M times N. However, there's another variation of this rule. It's, it can go like this, A to the M towards uh, b to the n to the c power. Basically, this outside exponent, you just distribute to the, uh, all the, uh, the exponents on inside. So this 4, there's a 1 right here. So 3 is really 3 to the first. w is really w to the first. So I'm going to distribute that 4 into each of these. So this is going to be 3 to the fourth uh, times w to the fourth. Okay, so that's an illustration of this property right there over z to the negative w, so we're just, I'm sorry, z to the negative 2, not negative w. Uh, so we're just going to take this, you know, a couple steps at a time. Okay, we're not going to try to do everything all at once. And then right here, we're going to go ahead and use this same rule. We're going to distribute this negative 2 to the powers here. Now, this z is really z to the first. So that's going to give us w to the negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. So that's w to the positive 4, z times 1 times negative 2 is uh, z to the negative 2. Okay, and that's going to be all over 1 because I got a fraction here, so I'll put that over 1 because I'm not going to have to be dealing with fractions. 
Okay, so if you understand what I just did, and you're like, nope, I get that. That's excellent. Matter of fact, that was the first movie you made, or first couple of movies you made. That's very, very good. All right, so now let's go ahead and uh, take the next step. Because we are dealing with fractions, if I have one-third and, and I'm multiplying it by three-fifths, how do you multiply fractions? Remember, you uh, multiply the respective numerators and respective denominators. No different when it comes to algebra. So next, I want to multiply one fraction times another fraction. So I'm going to be multiplying the numerators, uh, I'm sorry, the numerators by the respective denominators. So uh, let's take a look at what the numerators are. Let me kind of erase all this so we can focus. All right, so my numerator is going to be this times this times this times this. So let's just write this all out. 3 to the 4th times w to the 4th times another w to the 4th times z to the negative 2. That's my numerator. And my denominator is z to the negative 2 times 1. So we'll put that right there. Okay, so now I'm, I'm down to one fraction. And now let's go ahead and continue on. So let's talk about uh, z to the negative 2. I have a z to the negative 2 and a z to the negative 2 here. These are all factors, so I could cross-cancel these right here. Now, in additional videos, I, uh, uh, you really need to uh, look at more examples with negative exponents. But this, is, uh, this particular problem, you can actually just cross-cancel these. So it's going to leave us with this, okay? 3 to the 4th times w to the 4th times w to the 4th. Now, w to the 4th times w to the 4th is an illustration of what? a to the m times a to the m is equal to a to the m plus n. Same base, w, and I'm, I'm multiplying. That's what I'm doing here, so I need to add the exponents. So 4 and 4 is 8, so that's going to be w to the 8th. And then here I have 3 to the 4th. Okay, so we're almost there. So now we want to evaluate 3 to the 4th, which, of course, is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, or 9 times 9, which is 81. So your final answer should be 81 w to the 8th power. Okay, so how many of you got this right? If you got this right, I must go ahead and give you a nice little happy face in A+. Plus. Matter of fact, I'll give you 110%. Uh, you know, this was, I would say, an average problem, not overly difficult. Let me throw in a few stars there because, that, you know, if you're able to do this on your own, you know all those properties, that's pretty good stuff. And I want to make you feel extra special by giving you some nice gold stars for your work in math today. But here's the deal, okay? Your ability to work with exponents, powers, all this stuff is absolutely critical to your success in uh, algebra and any math that you plan to take beyond algebra. Okay, this is, you know, critical stuff here. So if you've been confused, you know, a lot of students get confused by this because there's a lot of rules going on and you have to practice a lot of these type of problems. So it's not enough just to watch me do a problem like this. You need to follow through with a lot of variety of problems. And that's what's different about my um, math help program. In my courses, I go over kind of the typical variety of type of problems you're going to see on most tests and quizzes in, uh, like let's say, for example, an algebra course. Okay, that's why I would highly recommend that. But I do have additional um examples on my YouTube channel as well. But any video I make, whether it's on my YouTube channel or in my math help program, I do it uh, with you, the student, which is my customer in mind. Okay, I want you to learn and understand this. And I really try to break these things down in a way where you can learn. And if you did learn something today, then don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.